DC motors. DC motors are of various types. Gear DC motor, BO motor, servo motor, stepper motor etc. A DC motor have two terminals, and it can rotate in both directions clockwise and anti-clockwise. If we connect any one of its terminal, to the positive supply, and connect the other one, with the negative supply, then it will rotate in any one direction, either clockwise, or counterclockwise. If we reverse the connection, then it will reverse its direction of rotation. To manually control a motor, we need a battery, a motor, and a switch. By this way, we can just turn on or off the motor, and it will rotate in only one direction. We can do the same work automatically, by using a transistor. When transistor will get a high signal at its base, then it will turn on the motor, and when transistor will get a low signal, then it will stop the motor. To rotate the motor in both the directions, we need four transistors. This configuration is called, H-bridge. In this configuration, when transistor Q1 and Q4, are on, then motor rotates in one direction, and when, Q2 and Q3, are on, then motor reverses its direction. L293D, is a motor driver IC. It has two H-bridge inside it. It can control two DC motors. This is the pin diagram of L293D motor driver IC. VCC and ground pins are connected to the positive and negative terminals of power supply. Enable 1 2, input 1 and input 2 are used to control the motor's direction. These pins can be connected to any microcontroller or Arduino. Output pins are connected to the motor. When enable 1 2 pin will get a high signal, then it enables the output of one side. On the other side of the IC, enable 3 4, input 3 and input 4 are used to control the second motor. This table is showing the working of control pins. When we give a high signal to enable 1 2 pin, high signal to input 1, and low signal to input 2, then motor rotates clockwise, and when we give low signal at input 1, and high signal at input 2, then motor rotates anti-clockwise. When enable pin is low, then motor stops rotating. This was some basic information about L293D motor driver IC. I hope you get some useful knowledge. Thank you so much.